Hey guys, this is Gogi from Gogi.in and this is the Vami Note, the Vami Note from Wicked Leak. This is a 5 inch smartphone running on Android 4.0. The box pack, 5 inch screen, processor 1 GHz, 12 SIM, 3G supported, 8 megapixel autofocus camera, multi touch Android 4.0, GPS and 2500 mAh battery 512 MB RAM and 4 GB internal storage this is the Vami Note inside the box there is this back cover 2500 mAh battery you get two batteries very useful if you travel a lot the USB to micro USB cable power adapter the power charger with USB the earphones which are decent looking earphones of a good quality the mic with call button the Vami note let's open it up this is the 5 inch tablet or a smartphone take out the 5 inch screen from the Micromax A100 model and the computing power and the 8 megapixel camera from the Micromax A90 and what you get is this Vami Note it is sleek and looks much like the Samsung Note the touch sensitive dedicated buttons it's slim the rear side wicked leak logo uh, you see the 8 megapixel camera this is the front side the USB port this is the power button the camera button the mic and the 3.5 mm jack this is the micro USB slot this is not a stylus but an antenna for the live TV the volume rockers the 8 megapixel autofocus camera with flash this is the speaker out this is the rear side this is with matte finish with embossed texture as you can see here gives a good grip context menu home button and the back button front camera proximity and light sensors this is the in call speaker this is the antenna I'll just open it up there you go this is to be used with the live TV this is how the setup looks you can watch live TV on this phone the antenna is very delicate you have to be very careful with it this small opening to open up the back cover to unveil the battery compartment the WCDMA SIM 1 and SIM 2 clearly mentioned along with the micro SD card slot I have inserted the SIM card and the micro SD card of 8 GB the battery and the back cover let's put this uh, additional back cover you can clip it this way This is how it looks just for an added protection I prefer without it let's power on the OS has started okay the sim has detected 
I'll have to make few changes now it has detected both the sims this is how it looks when switched on as you can see the 3G logo I'll just try accessing some pages uh, it might change to H okay H that is 7.2 Mbps I've now switched on the Wi-Fi the touch is pretty smooth it is not as smooth as on the Micromax A90 but uh, good enough the speed is very good there are no lags whatsoever these are the pre-installed apps this even has flash player which works the Google Play let's try the analog TV now you can watch TV uh, at the max you can watch uh, Doordarshan that is DD uh, again for this to work you need to be in the open space the Android version is 4.0.4 .4. this has a 503 MB of internal storage for apps the next is the my SD card that is 8 GB and uh, there is the internal storage card of 2 GB video call is supported the memory 235 MB free 236 MB used this is my storage card and the internal storage is 448 MB free and 55 MB used this is the context menu the back button the home button press the home button for few seconds and you'll get the list of apps that are running you can drag them to close the apps the phone you can see the video call button here for video call to work the other caller should also have the video call option on the keyboard uh, there are some Chinese characters this is the stock browser I've loaded my website double tap zoom in you can see there is a rendering lag it's a small rendering lag uh, it's normal this is the flash website as you can see the flash is working tethering and portable hotspot you have USB tethering portable Wi-Fi hotspot Bluetooth tethering Wi-Fi direct in screen lock you have the face unlock option let's check out the camera the camera is almost similar to what we have seen on the Micromax A90 the camera options 8 megapixel ISO is auto the maximum ISO setting is 1600 white balance flash mode color effects capture mode again in capture mode you have some new modes you have got burst shot 16 shots HDR I'll try the 16 shot option this is the video recording settings I have the Micromax A90 and the Vami Note this is Vami Note you can see the specifications uh, it's ARMV7 hardware is MT6575 single core this is the Micromax A90 as you can see it's the same MT6575 single core now on the Vami Note uh, if you look at the GPU power VR SGX 531 on the Micromax A90 it's the same you get the full resolution of 800 by 480 pixels that is because of the dedicated buttons these are the sensors magnetic sensor is missing the quadrant benchmark 
and it got a score of 2145 which is very good the N22 gave it a score of 3537 there is another interesting feature called video wallpaper uh, you can use any video clip just select the start and the end point uh, this is what I've done and uh, you can have this as a wallpaper just set the wallpaper and you have a video part of the video clip as the wallpaper spice 425 uh, a90 and the vami note all lined up if you look at the display the micromax a90 looks the best in a completely dark environment again the micromax a90 shines the vami note does not have root access the spice 425 and the micromax a90 the micromax a90 and the vami note as you can see the micromax a90 is the slimmest next is the vami note the Micromax A90 and the Spice 425. Thank you for watching this video. For complete review, visit my website, gogi.in.